I don't even know. Like, it just seems like such a chaotic mess right here. Welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection. I'm so happy you're here because look what's in front of me. Just look. I already know you know what we're opening up today, but I just have to make sure you guys see it. Do you see it? Literally feel like one of the last collectors on planet Earth that got the Sailor Moon Pop Mart figures. We're going to talk all about what the Sailor Moon Pop Mart figures are. I'm going to open up all two boxes that I have and hope for the two secret ones, Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Today's gonna be a fun video. Slam that like button, hit the subscribe button if you guys are not already fam here on Ochiba Wolf Collection, and let's get into it. Sometimes I don't know why I say the things I say on these YouTube videos, but we're going with it. It's just seeing these in person for the first time, I, I, it's, <laughs> I got to take a breather. got to find my center for this video because my energy is really high. Finally have touched, seen with my own eyes that these do exist. These are kind of like one of those things that when they first came out, it was just unbelievable. And now they're here in the flesh or in the plastic. For those of you out there who haven't heard of the Pop Mart Sailor Moon figures, let me just kind of take you back a little bit and give you a little bit of information about what these are. So January 4th, images started trickling on social media about these figures. At first, everybody was like, are they real? Are they bootlegs? What are these? Because we're living in the time of AI and there is a lot of AI generated art that looks like they're collectibles and, you know, just kind of like fan created stuff. At first, and I was definitely one of the skeptical people when the images started popping up, I was like, is this AI? What is this? Because no official source was saying anything about this. And Pop Mart is a huge brand. We all thought, well, if Pop Mart is collaborating with Sailor Moon, why didn't they say anything? You know, we were waiting for an official source before we knew if they were actually like licensed and real. So there was a lot of curiosity. There was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of like, when are we going to get any information from an official source? Long story short, we did find out that they were real and that they were going to be released in China on January 12th, only several days after the images started being put out on the internet. We found out that they were going to be released and we're like, whoa, whoa, that's so soon. How are we as Sailor Moon fans going to be able to pick them up for ourselves, for our collection? I remember, you know, I'm a SailorMoonFanNetwork.com blogger. So of course me and the other Sailor Moon Fan Network team members, uh, Sailor Bratzilla and Sailor Moon Obsession, were all trying to find some sort of official source for the Pop Mart Sailor Moon figure information because we didn't want to state anything unless we knew that it was true because at that time only users and collectors in other countries were kind of reporting on the news since no official word from Pop Mart even happened for these. And I think still today we didn't really hear anything, at least on the international side, about Pop Mart collaborating with Sailor Moon. <laughs> this is kind of like a strange release in that sense. You guys will have to let me know if you guys, you know, just remember everything that happened back in January. Like everybody was just rushing for any information that we could find out from a legit source at that time. It was a wild time. As the first quarter uh, went on, Sailor Moon fans were trying to find a proxy to import it. We didn't know if they were going to have an international release. I will admit this is my first introduction to Pop Mart the brand. I really didn't know much about them until they collaborated with my favorite franchise in the universe. So that's when I had to start, you know, digging into the brand, seeing what Pop Mart is all about. But if you guys are familiar with Pop Mart or if you're not, they're basically just a brand of figures. They collaborate with big brands like Disney and such. And of course now Sailor Moon. So they've been around for a while. Getting the Sailor Moon license was pretty big for the brand. At the time, we were not sure if they were going to be releasing these in any other country besides China. As of today, and today is the end of June. What day is it today? Oh my gosh. I think today's the 24th. I am losing track of time. <laughs> 
As of the end of June, they have only been released in China, unfortunately, even though they could essentially release these in other countries. Pop Mart does have branches of their brand in almost every country. We do have a USA branch of Pop Mart. It does don the international logo, so they could technically someday maybe acquire this license and sell these in other countries. It hasn't happened yet, and it may not happen. This is all just speculation. I'm still holding out, you know, fingers crossed that they will come out in other countries. But again, we're not sure. Fans who did want the Sailor Moon Pop Mart figures had to get them through the use of a proxy or someone's second hand to grab them. So a lot of Sailor Moon fans got these that way. We have a proxy guide on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com that listed a few proxies that were able to do orders for these in the China area. A lot of Sailor Moon fans used those proxies. I know GHL in particular got a whole bunch. I think Girls Union Online also also got a bunch. A lot of collectors grabbed boxes like almost immediately as soon as the proxies were able to order boxes for fans. Now me, being the very cheap frugal Sailor Moon fan I have become, first of all, buying a whole retail box of anything is super pricey. And then on top of that, the proxy fees that they're going to add on, you know, for their time, for their effort, the price of international shipping from whatever country you're grabbing those from, they have to ship it to you. So I was tapping out. I did not buy any and boy did I have FOMO seeing all my peers and Sailor Moon fans and collectors getting their boxes and opening them up and getting the full collection because these are really cute and I want to know your guys' thoughts on the Pop Mart figures. Of course we're going to open mine up too. I kind of just been you know talking and blabbing a bit about these. This is a pretty big release in the Sailor Moon collecting figure world. The molds are quite different. They're pretty original. They're in between a chibi and a full size anime character figures so they kind of got their own thing going on and a lot of Pop Mart figures kind of have this like style and we get characters that we don't normally see. We got Sailor V in this and she's in the regular lineup with the blind boxes. There will be a lot of common ones. Every one out of nine you could pull everybody except the two secret. You'll get one in every 108 blind boxes. Of course, we got Serenity and Endymion down there. So those are the two I definitely want to get today because those are the ones that go for a lot of money secondhand. Like if I were not to pull Serenity or Endymion today, it's going to be pretty hard for me to grab them for a good price. I've been talking for 20 minutes and I haven't even told you guys how and why I have two boxes in front of me because I was not going to pay for proxy fees or international shipping. I am proud to announce for the first time on my channel, I have connected with a local toy shop that is owned by Collect and this store is called Bubble Wrap. Bubble Wrap is a toy and collectible shop located in Kansas City, Missouri, but they also have an online shop as well where they ship worldwide. That means everybody can shop at Bubble Wrap. What makes Bubble Wrap special is not only the attention to the fun and unique decor inside, but the owners and staff are all knowledgeable collectors. They stock a variety of collectibles, not only Pop Mart, but also Tokidoki, Sanrio Friends, Gashapon, and more. I unexpectedly became close, fast friends with the owner who was such a wonderful soul that I needed in my life. I can tell you that she cares deeply about her store and the customers that come in. So this video is sponsored by Bubble Wrap. You guys gotta check them out. I'll have a link to their shop down there below. And if you have any questions, any concerns, the owners are super helpful and nice. They are willing to help every single collector out there as, as much as they possibly can. I ended up finally getting two boxes of their first shipment. They are getting more. Again, I'll have the link down there below, not only to Bubble Wrap Toys regular shop, but also to their listing with the Pop Mart Sailor Moon <laughs> toys. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words, where they sell them for $14.99 each. A great price. That is MSRP, you guys, for these. And I have not found any place in the United States that are selling these for that price. A lot of them mark them up higher because you do have to import them. But since they have an actual Pop Mart supplier, they are able to sell them at MSRP. Shout out to Bubble Wrap. Thank you so much. It was like the universe knew that I was going to get in contact with them at some point. I held out for some reason, even though I didn't know about it at the time. At least it feels like... <laughs> That's how it happened. We are going to open these up. So this is a box of nine. I don't know who designed this, but props to the designer. Look how the gradient is on the box, the stars, the little bubbles, very Sailor Moon vibes. Someone did their homework. Someone knew what they were doing. 
here we go i mean even the flaps have a little bit of the color on it here's the nine right there with the sailor moon logo on top i'm kind of like wondering like how are we gonna do this am i just gonna just like pull them all out of the box one by one can you guys do me a favor and manifest for me that i'm gonna get the whole collection out of two boxes the odds of that are pretty rare considering that the secrets are really hard to pull i only know of a few collectors have pulled those two secrets out of boxes that they bought a lot of collectors i know had to buy the secrets secondhand from somebody else who pulled it look at all of these oh my gosh it's like christmas or a birthday happy birthday to me my birthday was in june at the beginning of june so we're still celebrating my birthday i guess i guess let's keep those celebrations going on but yes definitely manifest the full collection that would be something, wouldn't it? Don't fast forward and cheat. Open them up with me together. <laughs> See my reactions together. <laughs> you guys also have to let me know, like, if you bought them, which ones did you get? Did you have to buy any secondhand or did you pull the secrets organically on your own? Look at these. Look at all of these. They're all over the place. Oh my gosh. This is a lot. Did anybody else out there buy a couple of boxes? Did anybody else out there have more money than me and was able to buy a bunch of boxes? The individual boxes are great too. I'm a sucker for a a nice box. You'll notice the figures printed on the box have a glossy finish to them on the front and on both sides. Since I got mine from Bubble Wrap, there's a price tag on the bottom. There's the top where you can open them if you choose, and then on the sides, they show you which characters you can pull from each blind box and how rare they are. On the back is where we'll have all the copyrighted information, including the Toei Animation sticker marking this officially licensed. The manufacturer is also stated on the back as Bandai Namco in Shanghai. Now, if you wanted to, you can just pull this tab at the top, rip it open that way and discover what's inside. However, I like to keep the boxes intact. I don't want to rip that beautiful top part up there. I'm going to teach you guys something. Grab a butter knife if you want to do this way. You're going to go in between the bottom flap there and the top flap and you're going to put it in between the space that doesn't have the glue. I usually like to do teeth out. Set it down on a surface. Carefully kind of just cut it. Now butter knives work best because you're not going to cut anything. Look at that beautiful and that's the little glue strip that keeps the boxes together that we just separated using a butter knife and that's a little collector tip if you want to keep your boxes intact in an easy way to open now i haven't opened any of these before this is the first time opening it up from the bottom there is a little tab here that i usually don't see what is that oh okay okay interesting interesting oh my goodness they're also sealed in another bag Sounds like there might be one of those do not eat packets in there. And what is this? Oh, does this tell you what it is with the card? So you don't even have to open this? So I'm assuming this is Sailor Mars. That's kind of cool too. Like if you didn't want to display these, but you wanted to know which one you got, if you just opened it very carefully on the bottom like this, just to peek and see what the card was, it's basically like brand new. And I would still consider it sealed at that point if you didn't open this. I do want a full set of these for my collection on display. So since it is Sailor Mars, this is the first one we pulled. I definitely need a Sailor Mars. So we're going to open her up and We'll take a look at all of the figures in the end as well. I'm really excited. They're packed so nice. There's that do not eat pack. I believe we don't need any more. Let's discard that. Wow, that's kind of a heavy little thing there. Each figure just kind of comes out like that. Oh my gosh, this is my first time, first time. Wow, they're really beautiful. They're very simple though. They went their own style with this. It doesn't look as anime-ish that I thought that they were going to look like. I'm just kind of assuming, and let me know if you guys are more into the Pop Mart figures, but it, it kind of just looks like their style. Mars's bow looks really dark. I like the little bases. The bases actually do have the Sailor Moon International logo on there. And then on the very bottom, it does have the copyrights. They have pegs in the bottom of their feet, which when figures come with bases like this with pegs, I love that. It means they are pretty secure on their bases. I wish the glitter and glamours was that way. I saved my boxes. I'm a collector that does. So I'm going to put everything back in as we pull them. And I'll also keep the card out for now. There's a number printed on the inside there. I wonder if that's the number of which figure is supposed to be inside. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get all of the boxes open this way and then we'll start opening them up. We're just going to speed through this footage and get this out of the way so you guys don't have to watch this boring part. 
Last one. Man, I worked up a sweat doing all that because you have to use like a little bit of your strength. Look at all of these. I wonder if anybody out there bought more boxes. Did anybody out there buy more retail boxes of just two? I can't even imagine opening up that many. I am very curious if that number on the top flap corresponds to anything. I'm going to double check. Okay, here we go. We got Sailor V. That is so awesome. I love how they just, you know, made characters that they don't normally make figures for. Like we also got a new Soggy and a Mamadou in street clothes. A plus for the characters. I do remember a big critique from people who started seeing the photos of these was that all of the poses were like just their like their henchin pose, which is definitely overdone when it comes to like figures. That was a big critique amongst Sailor Moon fans. Totally understand that it was refreshing to get some characters that we don't normally see figures of like sailor v i mean i can't believe we got that honestly and she's epic oh so full of life and so cute these are really well made i knew eventually i was going to buy these but i just didn't know when i was going to get them in my life we got sailor moon so far no doubles so cute Oh, she might be my favorite so far. These are freaking awesome. Give me her stand. I want to put her in here right now. I really hope these get an international release because I want everybody to own these or at least have the opportunity to. They're super difficult to get right now if you don't have access to, you know, spend a little extra money to get them from overseas or maybe order from Bubble Wrap if you can. I just really hope that these become more widely available. <gasps> Jupiter! My girl! She's cute! The colors on her are, are pretty vibrant. Love it, love it. This is fun. Oh, I accidentally ripped that one. Oh no. I'll be careful. We got Mercury. I kind of wish I didn't mix them up now. I would love to know like what was in my boxes, but there's no way of knowing now. I'm always looking for the card first. Got our first double. So this is Moon. I think this box was Moon. I do want to check to see if it had the same code. Okay, it does have the same code. Oh, they all have the same code. Code means nothing. Since this is a Moon and I already have her, I will put her in the pile that I don't need. We'll start this box with the ones I don't need. Come on, Serenity or Endymion. I mean, eventually I want you all. So what do we got? Usagi, I don't think we've pulled Usagi yet. Awesome. Those packets, those are pretty massive. I love this. Her pose is so cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I wish they did more of these and maybe they will. Maybe they'll do a second set of these. So we are missing Venus out of the Guardians over here. Is a Venus in here? <gasps> Sailor Venus, heck yeah. Why did I throw that back in there? We need her, we need that card. Sailor Venus, she's okay. I'm trying to hurry up. I still have so many. <gasps> a double Mars, we got a double Mars. Don't have to open up the doubles. Who are we missing out of the normals? Oh, we need Tuxedo Mask and Mamadou. We got Mamadou, excellent. It seems like I keep predicting who we get. So should the next time I open one of these, I need to say Princess Serenity. We rarely see Mamadou as a figure. So this is crazy. What universe am I living in? Street casual wear Mamru purple pants. Oh, wait a minute. His pants look really blue. I thought they were purple. His iconic green jacket is still the same. I guess I've never paid attention to his shoes. His shoes are gold. <laughs> See, he actually looks really great. That's awesome. A Mamadou figure. Who would have thought? We got to have love for Mamadou. Okay, so I'm going to manifest Serenity out of here. You have to be a Serenity. You have to be a Serenity. Jupiter, double jupes. Okay, what about an Endymion? I'll take an Endymion. Mercury, I'm getting worried, you guys. We still have a chance. We still have six chances. Come on, Serenity. Tuxedo Mask, we haven't pulled him yet. I'll take it, I'll take it. Where am I gonna put these? I'm just trying to think, like, cause you gotta display them together. 
We don't get very many Tuxedo Mask figures either, but we have got some. We've got the figure arts. We also got that BE Entertainment one. He looks awesome. I love those little cards they come with. Usagi. Sailor V. Oh my gosh, we have three left. We have three left. Couldn't get to this card, Tuxedo Mask. I guess I'll have to ask you guys too, for those who didn't pull Serenity and Endymion, how did you get them if you got them? Did you look on eBay? Did you look on Mercari? Who'd you grab them from? Sailor Venus. Uh-oh guys, uh-oh. We only have one left. I'm not feeling very hopeful, but I gotta manifest it, bro. Come on, Princess Serenity. Out of the two, at least give me Princess Serenity, please. Please, universe. Mamoru, unfortunately, I did not pull any of the secrets out of the two boxes I have, but I'm not gonna lose hope because that just means I just need to grab two more at some point to complete my collection. I've got everybody else, but hey, that's the risk with buying boxes. So I did not pull a Serenity or Endymion, which are the two secret ones, but they're really hard to pull. Only one out of 108 blind boxes will you have the chance to get a Serenity or an Endymion. I did, however, get all of the normal ones, which is great. And honestly, you guys, these are really cool. If you can get them at some point, I think you should. They look really amazing. The colors are vibrant. They're just super unique. I, I haven't seen anything like this um, in a while from the Sailor Moon franchise. I think they're refreshing for sure. And they're really cute. Did I say cute already? They're just adorable. The card idea is just a little extra thing that I love as a collector. They're not standard cards by any means. Remember when I was talking about how beautiful those boxes are? It is definitely reflected in these cards. I think th that's just a nice little extra touch that they did. And I think that is specific to Pop Mart, if I'm um, not mistaken. Anybody out there who just knows more about Pop Mart, let me know if, you, if Pop Mart usually always has a card with their figures. I'm just now learning more and more about Pop Mart because they decided to collab with Sailor Moon. If you guys are like me and you haven't bought them yet, although now I have them, uh, don't forget to check my description down there below. I have a link to Bubble Wrap Toys. They are getting more shipments in of the Sailor Moon Pop Mart figures. They are $14.99 each, which is MSRP, and they are worth it. Each one of these little figures, which I think they're just over four inches tall, are $14.99 each. And we don't know if they are going to eventually have a USA Pop Mart release or a different country release. It's uncertain at this point. I mean, January was like five months ago, so we don't know if Pop Mart will release these in other countries. So this might be your last chance to grab them. I don't know if they keep replenishing them in China or not, or if Pop Mart is more limited. Again, if you guys are more familiar with Pop Mart, please, share your thoughts share what you know down there in the comment section and uh, just have this collector network and help each other out because i definitely don't know much about pop mart i only know the specifics for the sailor moon ones that they were only released in china they came out in january 2024 that's really all i know about them i had to have them for my collection they're awesome shout out again to bubble wrap bubble wrap is amazing don't forget to check them out they did sponsor this video but also i got a few other things that day that i shopped now these i bought with my own money because when I'm shopping for toys, sometimes I buy things in the moment and this is what I got in the moment. I am not a Tokidoki collector. However, I am a plant lady. I love plants and Tokidoki did a unicorno botanical collection. So I bought a few, but the whole reason why I decided to get a couple of these is because that they are plants and there is a Monstera one, the Deliciosa right there is what I'm hoping to pull. So maybe our luck will be better with uh, this set for the one that I was really hoping for. You know, I didn't pull Serenity or Endymion in those, but maybe I can pull a Monstera of the Tokidokis. Let's see. It comes with a sticker. That's adorable. Ooh, this one is beautiful. It's an orchid. Fuchsia. Oh, she's really cute. I like her. Does anybody out there collect the Tokidokis? Karen, I know you buy some of them. Shout out to Karen if Karen's watching today. Are all the stickers the same? I believe so. So they all come with the little sticker on the inside. Ooh, we got the aloe. Oh, that one's actually really cute. I'm not mad that I got that one. The aloe vera. These are 
fun! And I know they make a ton, a ton of these. Oh, the, the chaser one is Euphoria, and the chaser ratio is one in every 48. Oh my gosh, those are way better odds than the Sailor Moon ones. Sailor Moon ones is one in 108. That's almost impossible. Please let me know if one of you guys out there got Serenity or Endymion. I wonder how much those are going for in the secondhand market too. If anybody knows, let me know. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to yell at you guys, but we got the Monstera one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed a win today, and the universe has granted it. That one is staying with me. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching my video, by the way. I'm trying really hard to get a lot of content out before I leave. I do leave for Japan next week. Yes, I will be doing lots of content, hopefully. <laughs> no, I will, I will. I'm gonna make myself. Just because I wanna share with you guys everything that I do. Oh my gosh, this is the cactus one. Sonora. These are so cute. I got two more blind boxes, if you guys uh, will allow me to have this space. This one is the Carnival Unicorno Metallico series. The Chaser is Premia. Oh, the Carousel one is cute. Honestly, they're all pretty cute. I would not be upset grabbing any of these. These are just more examples of what you can find at Bubble Wrap in Kansas City, online and in store. Oh, we got sweet stuff, which I love the sweets. Adorable. And then this little bitty one, this is also one of the Unicorno ones. These are Frenzies Series 3. There are a bunch of these that you can get. They're all really cute. I love all of these too. Particularly, I would love Summer. I would love Galactica Miso. Rosa Latte is cute. Star Fairy's adorable. They're, they're all cute. And this box is so tiny. And a little bitty paper. Uh, so small. Who did we get? Oh, they're little phone straps. Oh, this one is adorable. Which one are you? Tokimeki? It says kawaii on the side. <laughs> You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate the view so much. You guys know I do. Don't forget before you leave, if you can slam that like button, double check, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Even if you come back and watch my videos, sometimes you're not subscribed and subscribing is very important to us content creators out there. It helps us in the algorithm and it helps us look good. <laughs> Just being honest. I hope you guys loved the unboxing of the Pop Mart Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon figures. I'm so glad they collaborated with Sailor Moon. These are awesome. I think that if you're into like these little smaller type figures, you definitely got to add them to your collection. They're unique in a way of stuff that we haven't quite seen yet. Like a lot of things are like super chibi or regular size. And I like how these are just in the middle and just something refreshing. I'm very sad I didn't pull Serenity and Endymion, but if you guys know anybody that uh, has extras that can hook your girl up, of course I'm willing to pay for them. Just slide into my DMs and uh, maybe we can work out a deal or something. I do have some extras that I'll probably be selling soon since I got doubles of these guys up here. I am going to Japan next week. I don't know when I'm going to be dropping this video after it's done editing. So it may be next week when I do drop the video. As far as like today, I am leaving next week. Please follow my Japan adventures on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I am at Ochiba Wolf over there. I'm going to be sharing a lot in my stories and also I'll be posting some short form content here on YouTube as well. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to check out a little bit during my trip on my socials and through short form content too. Later, once I get back, I'll be doing some long form videos from Japan, especially talking about the Sailor Moon store, the remodeled version of the Sailor Moon store. And also I will be dropping an updated long form video of the Sailor Moon Museum in Nagoya. That's the main reason that of why we're going to Japan is for the Nagoya traveling Sailor Moon Museum of 2024. As always, guys, I love you so much. Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah!